people have come upon a crime scene such as this before, but they might not realize that the guilty party could be living in their own backyard. There are several types of nocturnal opportunists that have learned to raid trash cans for food. The raccoon, the opossum, the skunk, and the foxes are all increasingly common in suburban areas. Raccoons and opossums usually live in hollow trees, but some have found people's garages and attics make excellent dens as well. With a bandit's mask and convict striped tail, the raccoon is easy to blame for raiding crimes. Their hand-like paws give them excellent dexterity, and some can even open locked coolers. This raccoon skull shows that just like us, they are omnivores. They have both molars for chewing plants and sharper front teeth for tearing meat. Some people think opossums look like giant rats, with their long faces and naked tails. However, they aren't rodents, but the only marsupial in North America. That's right, the opossum is cousin to the kangaroo. Foxes live in burrows underground, and their entrances usually have a distinctive keyhole-shaped entrance. They usually hide this entrance underneath some brush, or in your backyard, perhaps a shed or the deck. Everyone knows when a skunk is in their backyard, but did you know the striped skunk is actually a member of the weasel family? Skunks are not as slim and fast as other weasels because of their lifestyle. They use their nose more than their speed for finding food, and they never worry about anything chasing them. However, foxes, raccoons, and opossums can live undetected for years, literally under the very noses of people. Some can be quite bold, even sneaking onto porches to get to trash bags or leftover pet food. While some people might be annoyed by these nocturnal raiders, it's important to respect these backyard animals for their adaptability.